The second tutorial is also really easy. What we're going to be doing is adding markers, or what are sometimes called hit points, into um, the Reaper interface. Now, even though this is easy, it can take a while to do manually, but I really strongly suggest you don't miss it out. And the reason for that is because it gives you structure to everything that's going to happen from here. It's quite hard just to sit down and say, whoa, I've got this lovely bit of film beautifully made. Let's quickly just knock out a soundtrack. But that's quite difficult to do. Where do you start? What kind of music are you writing? Those are the, the questions you'll immediately get stuck with. But if we... Um, go through and do this process first of adding um, markers or hit points into our video, then that's going to give us a really uh, clear starting point. So if I watch just that opening bit of the, uh, of the film, Enable semi-automatic control. Disable safety features. Maximum speed. Go. What's happening to him? Okay, so um, that's just the first, what, 35 seconds or so of it. But I can already see three key points of action there. And I've not just watched this once, I've watched this a few times already. But I can already see, at this point, three uh, places where I want the music to change to affect what's happening. Now, sometimes the music underscores the action, and the action makes us uh, you know, feel excited, worried, sad whatever other times we really need the music to help us get that feel to to bring it up um, and so that those are the kind of moments that I'm looking for in the soundtrack where do I want the music to match the action or even make the action even more impactful than it would otherwise be so the first one is when you get the gunfire nothing's really happening it's quite a shock comes out of nowhere we've got a guy tapping on a tablet and then bang so let's just watch that again yeah in fact he actually jumps so that's good because that's the effect we want we want to feel sympathetic with the sudden jumping so if i zoom in there i'm going to get my mouse pointer to you know exactly where that sound starts seem to be suddenly having a problem there we go all right so that's where the the big loud gunfire starts and so what I want is a marker at that point so I can score to that point so to put that in I press shift and M um, you can just press M to add a marker but shift and M also prompts you for a name at the same time and these are very useful because when we're scoring we can jump around between the different markers by their name so I'm going to call this gunfire I might even call it gunfire one because I know that there's some other points where I might want to score to gunfire or where gunfire happens again just in case uh, I need to remember the difference and and that's it just press return and you can see that that's been added here at the top of the screen okay so um, the next point that I felt that I needed something uh, was when she gives the instruction go verified enable semi-automatic control disable safety features maximum speed go <laughs> So the reason, that, so it's go is sort of the moment of excitement there. I watched this a few times, thinking again about where does the music need to change or where does it need to respond to the action? So it's actually, if you listen to what happens after the actor says go, we then have some more gunfire and then we have sudden acceleration of the car. So it's like go, she says go, but actually... The gunfire is out of her control, so that sort of increases the attention and then the car speeds up. Features. Maximum speed. Go. 
So I could score that a few different ways. I could score that to respond to the gunfire or to respond to the car accelerating and the guy falling backwards. But actually, it's the go that I think if we if I imagine that the music suddenly uh, lifts itself to respond to her go. Just maximum speed, go. Which I can just see there on the waveform. It's that little blob there is my go. So again, zoom in, make sure I get my marker right on the starting point of this. You know, the, I haven't yet imagined what the music's going to be. I haven't written the music. I've just been thinking about it. But I can imagine that the music might speed up at that point or it might sort of, you know, we might get some drums going dung 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 give us a kind of a kind of rhythmic things are happening and we've got to move quickly kind of thing. So I want that to happen alongside the go. So remember the shortcut again to add a marker, shift and M to add a marker. I'm going to say go in caps uh, and then I'm going to write then gun fire and Excel for acceleration, the car excels. So I'm reminding myself that stuff actually happens after the go as well. So that might be a whole different mood, a whole totally different change in the music there. And then one more, there's one more thing just in those first 30 seconds that we just watched through. Let's just fast forward to about here. What's happening to him? I think he's switching genres. So I watched the first two seasons of Westworld religiously and I'm very embarrassed to say that I haven't, I'm spoiling this series for myself because I haven't finished it yet. Uh, but there's stuff going on here that I don't properly understand. So apologies if I say something really dumb at the moment for those who are following the TV show. But if we watch at the point when he starts changing genres, the uh, the camera angle, angle loses some of its colour, sort of goes a bit black and white or a bit washed out. Um, and also it goes a bit blurry. So watch now that angle there, sort of washed out of colour, and it's a bit blurry. I think he's switching genres. Okay, so there's a mood change. Let's imagine that, you know, 15 seconds ago we went into fast racing, and that this might still have a fast racing undercurrent, but the second that we actually start seeing him looking like that... Whoops, not what I was trying to do. The second we start seeing him looking like that... I think I think we're going to need to have some kind of musical switch that says, ooh, something weird's going on here with this guy. So anyway, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to score that yet, but I'm going to write genre change, um, and that will just remind me what's happening in the action. So I've done that for the first 30 seconds. Sometimes you'll actually have some really close hit points. I don't have an example of that here, but quite often, for instance, in a fight, a fist fight, where one person is punching the next, or maybe in a car chase where you've got crash, 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 a bunch of cars bumping into each other, you might actually have hit points that are, you know, two or three in just a few seconds um, because you want to score the music to those moments of impact on the screen. These are a little bit more general now, but you should keep on going the whole way through the film and adding in those hit points or those markers. And then when you finish doing that, just have a look at those. You can zoom out on the music and have a look at where they all sit. And that'll give you an idea then for planning your piece of music to actually fit with those full four minutes or so of the film. They will provide your structure for you.